guys, welcome to the first episode of the Unopen series here at Defend Texas. Unopen being the episodes that we're going to be doing is we're going to open uh, really rare bottles that is really hard to either get a tasting notes or really hard to find uh, and that they're really, really interesting whiskies. Today we're going to start with Glen Farkless. Glen Farkless being a distillery uh, that started in 1936 and it's a completely 100% family owned. It's not many distillers out there can say that. They focus on sherry casks and they don't do double maturations. Uh, all the, a lot of the whiskies after, after 20 years old, all the whiskies are non-chill filtered. Uh, there are some, a lot of them are cast strengths. The core range goes from eight years all the way to 40 years. So they do a, they do a 15, they do a 12, they do 18, 21, 25, 27, I would believe. Uh, they range all the sorts of uh, ages. And also they have about 50,000 cask age in any given time in the distillery since the 1950s. Now the family, we're gonna go through Glen Farkless in another episode and we're gonna explain what the fam- what they do and, and a little bit of history on this, uh, on the. Uh, distillery itself but today we're going to be talking about the family casks. The family cask is a single cask, single release uh, that gets released uh, every every year and every year is a different vintage. They put the vintage at the front of the label and they're highly highly collectible items. They go all the way till the 1960s and they started being bottled in around 2000. Uh, they find out that they have so many casks out there that they just wanted to do something unique uh, and 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 very, very interesting. So the good thing about this whiskey, and this uh, relates to everybody that is a very, very big whiskey lover, is the amount of information that you get on the bottle and the uniqueness of it. Uh, so this one in particular was distilled in the winter of, 2000, uh, of 1997 uh, and it was uh, bottled in six, uh, the 6th of December of 2018. Uh, they put the number the number of bottles, so this is one of 603 bottles. The cast number, it was 5,134, and as I said before, they're all uh, sherry cask. Like the other interesting part is like a lot of bottlings and a lot of whiskey is that they will put tasting notes on the back of the label. This particular is a white label here, and you can actually add your own unique tasting notes. As you can see, there's no tasting notes on these ones, and we have not opened it yet. Now, I'm very curious because I did find one uh, review online, but uh, it was a different cask, so I can't find any in particular out there. So here we go, we're just gonna open it. Beautiful. So, in, we do a little bit of math. This is a 21 year old whiskey. Uh, 100% ex sherry uh, butts, sherry butts being about 500 liters, so they're quite big. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a sherry notes. All of the dry fruits. Also, all of them are not chill filtered and not, and cast strengths. I believe this one is 50, yeah, 57.1% alcohol as well. Yeah, you can taste the ABV on that one. And the sherry cask, a lot of uh, dry fruits, uh, dry pudding, uh, Christmas pudding, if you want to put it like that. I'm going to add a little bit of water as well just to open a little bit of mud. The, um, the aromas. The great thing about the Glen Farkless as well is that it's a great whiskey value for money because even though this is a 21 year old, I think I, we purchased this for about $350 a bottle if you can find it. There we go. Yeah, it opens up a lot. I would suggest not to add too much water to it. I think I added a little bit too much, but it's still delicious whiskey. And if you can find it, make sure that you uh, you get your hands on it. Slam your bar, hope you enjoy. We'll see you next month.